What is up you guys, Orlando here with Leisure Record Studio. Another tutorial for you guys today, how to organize in Cubase your VST effects. Let's do it. Remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us and let's get started so this window on the media tab here on the right which is accessed by this button right here in the corner you're gonna have everything that you need within qas you're gonna have your vst instruments you're gonna have your vst effects you're gonna have your loops and samples we're gonna focus on the vst effects and i have been procrastinating on doing this myself so shame on me because when i updated to uh, qas 11 i didn't now i have to do it anyways i already have something already set up that looks more like what i want to accomplish i did this one which is all the steinberg plugins uh, that comes with qas meaning all the stock plugins i organize them and as you can see, super easy, super manageable. Um, and it's meters, uh, which is supervision in this case, all the EQs, all the dynamics, all the effects, you get the idea. So how do we do something similar like this? The first step is going into studio and going into VST plugin manager and see all the plugins that you have. And as you can see, I have literally hundreds of plugins at this point and uh, I need to organize. I need to organize because I don't use that many plugins anyways. The window that we want to focus is this one right here. We want to create a new one, an empty one, and I'm going to call it ERS. That stands for Elijah Record Studio by Vendor. I'm going to create another one that says ERS by category based on dynamics, EQ, and all the rest. I want to have both because sometimes I remember the company, but not the name of the plugin. And in other times, I, I just remember what it is. It's a compressor, it's a EQ, it's a reverb, and that's going to be by category. So let's jump here by vendor. And as you can see, it's completely empty. So what you can do is go in by vendor uh, right away in actually selecting the plugins that you actually gonna use because sometimes especially with waves waves has mono mono to stereo and stereo plugins and sometimes you don't use all of them just select what you actually use and start building upon that i'm gonna go ahead and select just a few from a few vendors and show you how it's done let's create here a new folder you can go with waves okay and within that folder you're gonna start selecting actually what you actually use as you can see here they're all right there that's gonna look something like that in here okay if you want a plugin shows up uh, first in line That's a, a way to organize as well within that folder. The other way, it's basically the same by category, and you're gonna create a new folder, for example, EQ. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. If you're new to this channel, please, again, consider subscribing, you know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. And until next video, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you in the next one.